530 as efforts continue to try to save more stray dogs and cats. The number euthanized by the city of Detroit is pretty heartbreaking. Last year alone, nearly 2,000 animals, mostly dogs, were put down. And fearing one young dog in particular might be killed made a number of children and their teacher quite sad. But as Action News reporter Kimberly Craig shows us, there is good news for this dog and concern for so many others. This is the dog some school children have named Jenga. They saw the stray who teachers say is a playful pup on Wednesday when she wandered onto the playground here at the Detroit Waldorf School in Indian Village. One teacher wanted to take her to a vet to get scanned for a microchip, but things happened so fast, and before they knew it, Jenga was being seized by Detroit Animal Control and brought to this facility on West Jefferson, and that caused a lot of people to panic. Most of the time when dogs go into this facility, um, they have a hard time getting out. Many dog lovers feared for Jenga's life because of another dog. This is Ace. His story made hearts break across the country when Detroit Animal Control euthanized him in 2011, despite the desperate efforts of so many to save him. Multiple organizations were trying to get him released, and he was put down still, um, even though there was court orders to keep him alive. There are some concerns with animal control, uh, but there are also rules and regulations in which we must operate. Assistant Chief James White says the city is working to improve animal control and we can expect to learn more about the improvements in the next several months. As for Jenga, we're told strays like her have to be held for four business days to give any owner a chance to claim them. And if no one does, Jenga will be released to the Michigan Humane Society. Detroit Animal Control has committed uh, that if their owner does not come forward within the four-day hold that they will transfer the dog to the Michigan Humane Society, um, then we're going to find a uh, suitable placement for the animal once it's in our care. And we're really happy that all parties involved are, are looking for a positive outcome for this dog. But for organizations like Dog Aid, the concern also remains for all of the other Jengas and Aces out there. And they're hoping the city of Detroit will allow them to provide assistance to animal control. Where we can come in and provide volunteer services to help them walk the dogs, um, to get the dogs that are adoptable um, out into um, you know, out to adoption events um, and to just alleviate some of the, the pressure I'm sure that they feel within this facility um, for the population that they take in. I can tell you what we will commit to is, is being better. Uh, we can commit to improving our practices and processes. Uh, and if there's an opportunity to work with some companies or some organizations, nonprofits, to adopt out animals, we'll take a look at it. People here love their animals and they, they want their city to show that. In Detroit, Kimberly Craig, 7 Action News. And you know, if you go in the city of Detroit, there are so many stray animals out on the street. Yeah, you just want to see them in a home, yeah. taken care of. But there are some real homes out there. Absolutely. It just takes time to find. Her, lady said. Yeah. yeah, they love animals. So, yeah.